Oh. Oh, what's up? Hey, just got back from uh, the multi-millionaire meeting with, uh, you know, a couple of places like Disney, ABC, Sony. Regular run-of-the-mill stuff. Just looking into the analytics. You know, they're really taking a look at my channel. Uh, but unfortunately, I did not get an offer. And it's because my, my numbers are low. My engagement's low. This is very unfortunate, man. I, I really thought we were going somewhere until they uh, they asked for my TikTok numbers. And yeah, couldn't show them much. But I was just having a conversation with, you know, fellow content creator Puma. Check out his work. He's great. He's got, he puts a lot of effort into his stream. And essentially the conversation went like this. TikTok's views isn't really on quality. You can have a lot of quality but it not really pop off. You can have something that you just uploaded for fun and then it pops off. There's, it feels very random. And it got to a point where I started to talk about the possibility, really any game of Rocket League can be turned into a TikTok of some lesser or outstanding quality. So I challenged myself. I'm gonna look back at my stream that was about four hours long and find 24 TikToks and make them on the hour for TikTok, my YouTube shorts channel, and my main channel, and see if I can't blow up from that. But before we get into the editing, I need to get into something a little more comfortable as this is probably going to be a six to 10 hour process. Hmm, <sighs> looking fresh, baby. We ready for that editing. The grind starts now. So here I'm looking through my clips, and I'm going to be honest, this was tedious, it was annoying, it was longer than I expected. I'm going to be honest, there was a lot of road bumps here, and it really made me appreciate Replay Buffer a ton. Uh, if you don't know what Replay Buffer is, you can probably look at a YouTube video for it, but essentially it's like sh NVIDIA Shadowplay, but OBS. And I had really been slacking on Replay Buffer, like, like turning on Replay Buffer when I was recording, or streaming so that I could get those clips because without them I had to scroll through my VOD and that really took I want to say 33% of the time and I'm going to be honest this was a 20 hour process that took about three days to complete. So it's currently midnight basically 12 40, yeah, 1240. I got done with 12 TikToks. I just couldn't be, I couldn't bring myself to just upload 30 seconds of whatever. I had to like try to fit it into a cohesive something every time, uh, which obviously made it way longer than it should have been. But I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and get done with the other 12. So it's the next day, and yes, I have on the same shirt. That's how editors roll. Uh, it's just a really comfy shirt, man. Leave me alone. I find myself completely getting distracted by Twitter and Twitch. As the escapism sets in, as I find that I really don't want to edit these last 12. Oh crap, I gotta get back on editing, man. I really gotta get back on editing. Okay. So, I'm finally done. I got a little bit over 24. I actually got 36 because I started going through my Twitch vids or whatever. But yeah, it's been a very long time. Finally, we finally got them edited on my computer. But here's the great thing about TikTok. To get that signature text-to-speech and, and music to be put into the TikTok algorithm, you actually have to put the TikToks that you created on your computer onto your phone and then move them back onto your computer because the only way you can schedule them out to be every single hour and not just do it manually um, is on your computer. And same thing goes for like YouTube Shorts because I'm gonna throw it on YouTube Shorts. Remember, keep in mind, edit on computer, move it to TikTok to put some finishing touches like text-to-speech, subtitles, music, and then put it back onto your computer to schedule it. Yeah, it's kind of time consuming, but I will see you when that is done. After listening to an ungodly amount of TikTok, 
text to speech and an ungodly amount of rewinds of my video and little music clips. I've officially got it done. And now it's going on to my computer back again and we'll start scheduling them out and just to show you guys kind of how long it takes to schedule them out. But I would say I was editing these TikToks for close to two to three hours, meaning I feel like it's somewhat impossible to start from scratch and find your own clips and everything uh, daily doing like a 24 hour uh, you know, one hour TikTok thing, just to point that out, really, and not just like lose your mind in the process. So it is noon the next day. We went about 36 hours, and we're gonna go look at the views. I've kind of taken a sneak peek kind of know what they look like let's just let's just roll it out and I'll, I'll show you guys what that looks like so we've seen this before uh you know first first video getting 1300 which is pretty good that's 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 one of the better videos that's like that's like better 6200 that is my biggest viewed video on youtube by a pretty big mile i feel like i think the closest to that might be 3k I, i'm not sure 2500 that's great 2500 that's great uh 900 that's that's better than average average is around three to four hundred i would say 1100 1700 these are really good numbers 1400 or, or sorry 400 which is definitely just average it's just average 1200 though that's great 1800 that's awesome 2600 that is amazing um pr better than average you know average is around i want to say 400 to 500 to 500 256 definitely on the lower end 1600 1700 i mean looks like every video kind of just popped off but then here's where it starts to slow down uh this would be around i want to say basically after 6 p.m or so because I'm, I'm just estimating six videos yeah about about 6 p.m 5 p.m only about we i'd say four to five videos that really just didn't do well out of 24. So that's really impressive for the main channel. All right, so now we're in, okay, and three, 394, that's better than average. On, on TikTok, I normally get 250. 200 to 250 is like the average, just regular video. Uh, 1100, that's really good. 600, that's really good. 4,900 is the second best video on TikTok that I've had. 250, see that's average, 240 average, 270 average, 250. You see how, like this is normally what it is every video when I upload like on a daily basis. Uh, 250, 500 is good, 270, 230, uh, 400, 378. Th these are good, these are good. 400, 378, 400, that's good. 270 average, average, average. Uh, better than average, average, and kind of average. So I was looking at this prior and there was a lot of videos that had like five views, two views, one view after hours of being up. And I thought, man, this TikTok crashed. Like TikTok, like I'm getting nothing for this basically. And the truth is like looking at it now, you know, 36 hours after the fact, not like 18 hours in, actually not the case. Really every single one of these videos popped off and I'm not sure if that's from momentum from a video, like as in one video, like like this 4,900 carrying the rest and people checking out the other ones. Uh, but as far as followers gained, I think I was at 201. So we got 16 followers gained on uh, TikTok in the matter of about 36 hours, um, you know, nothing m momentous like not better than the youtube channel and let's be honest youtube subscribers kind of means more than tiktok subscribers and yeah so so the tiktok i'm gonna count it as a mild success definitely definitely a success but not quite on the same level of consistency as like a U the youtube shorts that we looked at i'm gonna add up the tallies of of the views across every channel and then add them up into the end goal and just kind of give you an idea so i'm gonna be honest i've taken a sneak peek at this one and this is where it gets interesting in my my genuine opinion 1600 1500 2k 2k 1500 2800 2k 1500 1800 2k like dude nothing really fell below 1k that is incredible man that really shows you like again because i posted like basically whatever i'm gonna just keep it real like i i just found clips and i was like yeah all right this this is interesting i think this is interesting i think 
and, and really you look at the the like ratios on this and it's not bad like sure you know you get this one that's at 73 that's not great but then you got like random ones where like uh you know 50 likes 92 percent like ratio 95 percent like ratio uh 92 percent um 97 with 40 like like it isn't like it's 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 hated you know i wouldn't say this is hated stuff and man that's that's just impressive let's i'm trying to i'm trying to think like let's go off of the last uh, let me let me look so here are the numbers posting 24 tiktoks in one day or 24 shorts in one day versus uploading one short every day for 24 days on the pale shorts channel the 24 the first 24 was 45,000. the old 24 was 17,000. on the main youtube channel the first 24 39,291. The old 24 was 28,000. Uh, or, or sorry, on the new 24 for the TikTok, it was 12,042. And the old 24 was 12,072. Gonna be honest, that's pretty impre That's pretty crazy. I also only posted 21 in 24 hours. I couldn't post the last three for some weird reason with TikTok. I couldn't post the last three. And I think there's a lot to unpack with this. It really means it might be better to post in bulk. I, I thought about it again, like uh, what makes sense when posting in bulk is you're gonna have a lot of people potentially see multiple ones of your TikToks and get invested. You see what I mean? Going down the rabbit hole. That's possibly what happened with a lot of these views. Let's take the 39,000 on the main YouTube channel versus the 28,000. What if there was a thousand people that watched seven TikTok? But that also lets them know more about you. You know, they're going down the rabbit hole of your content, which may make them a long, uh, a long-term member of your channel. But I think there's something to be said for YouTube algorithm uh, with this. And I think I will be posting 24 times in 24 hours uh maybe next month uh just to give you guys a part two of this and to see if the uh the stats say, stay consistent anyway i'm pale rider uh if you want to drop a little subscribe button uh for random freaking videos that have to do with stream growth youtube growth or rocket league content because i am pretty good at it i'm top 100 top 30 and ones then yeah variety gaming all that dude and find all sorts of stuff in categories here but uh until next time peace out <laughs> can't be like this can't be like this man